briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 2010 case in Iowa, attorney William Monroe found himself in hot water after engaging in a sexual relationship with his client. The Iowa Supreme Court Attorney Disciplinary Board filed charges against Monroe, stating that his actions violated the state's ethical rules. The Grievance Commission agreed that Monroe had violated Iowa Rule of Professional Conduct 32, 1.8, J, and recommended a 30-day suspension of his law license, along with mandatory counseling. Although the Iowa Supreme Court disagreed with the Commission's conclusion that Monroe's conduct was prejudicial to the administration of justice, they upheld the recommended 30-day suspension. Monroe would be allowed to practice again after completing counseling focused on the wrongfulness of his behavior. Monroe's case highlights the boundaries and ethical infractions within professional relationships. Following the court's decision, Monroe faced sanctions that included suspension and counseling, in addition to paying the costs of the case. The ruling serves as a reminder to attorneys and professionals alike to uphold ethical standards in their practice. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.